Conquest map. Still got a little bit to go. But uh, after this game, I'll be having Cold Key Level 5, which is great. And here so, is get it. Austin Martin. As the lefty gets to work. Lace down the line. Still trying to be in the top three on Austin Martin, so he's still, still trying to level him up on parallel three, almost parallel four. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could. I really like this Austin Martin card. It's one of my favorite tops now cards this year. So. Okay, mix it in. Yes. All right, he's parallel five. Here's Joey Gallo. Go. Be careful with a slugger like this because he could turn it into a three run game in the blink of an eye. That one finds the zone. It's 0 1. He's been known to jump all over the first pitch, so that seems like a missed opportunity right there. Line drive. Hello. That should be extra bases. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score, and they take a two run lead. Well done, drives in the run. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well Damn it. as you could possibly <coughs> ask. That's it. Abreu finally gets the first out here on the grounder. Now here is Jason Dominguez. The switch hitter batting right. That's, That's off a ball. the mark and it's 1-0. Oh. Two runs across in the inning and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And that's a fair ball. I don't know why Gallo went back there. I don't know. I have no idea why Gallo went back. So digging in, Alex Gordon. Off the mark there. Ball one. And a foul ball left side. Man at first, one away. Fouled off. He was late. The pitch. Out towards right center. That's well struck. This looks like extra bases. Double. Now it's the right fielder, Stephen Kwan. Stephen Kwan. <laughs> With one gone, stepping in the slugging shortstop, Rich Aurelia dives, but it kicks off his glove to first. And no, he beats it. Everyone's he's safe. safe. First and second, one out. Mitch Garver up to hit here. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Damn it. McCormick Just messing with the PCI. Grab for the second out. With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. So the lineup flips over. Next to hit, Austin Martin. Now it's belted. Deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. And they boost their lead. It's 8-0. And the batter now, Colt Keith. Bounced up the middle. Altuve oh. slings to first. I don't matter. Colt Keith's parallel five. So. Here at Minute Maid Park. And stepping in for the Astros, Jeremy Pena. Ball for a strike. That's number 27 on the year. 28? 27 or 28 for me. And the That's a ball. Just misses. One and one. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Hey! Oh, ringing, dude. It's a strikeout. Chance yeah, one. Play. In the box now, no balls in a strike. Oh, and one. Raleigh, he isn't really known as a starting yeah. pitcher that's going to get you deep into the start. It's not that he's not capable, he just hasn't proven 
that he can do it yet. He's got such great stuff. You just don't know from start to start whether it's a ringing, dude. hitter or it's a guy that's only going to give you three or four innings. Jordan what? Alvarez stands in now and watches strike one. Erdon, don't hurt me. Oh, shit. But for the most part, with that kind of stuff, you expect him to get to the middle of the ball game. Hey. Phone's ringing, dude. Back here in Houston, new inning getting started. Here's a big power threat, Joey Gallo. Here comes a pitch. It's in and out of his glove. To first. Tony Gallo was faster. Hey, away from the ball. Good. Good, good, good. 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 <coughs> God damn it. I yanked that shit. Popped up foul territory behind the play. He makes the grab, and there's two down. Two out, space is empty. And now Jason Dominguez. That one is absolutely belted. And that should be extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. Jason should be parallel five tomorrow, finally. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Anytime you can drive a ball. So actually that was Gordon, hopefully. So good. And that's Still got a while yet right for him, but. It's even better when it gets you extra bases. Gotta love looking in at your dugout and seeing your teammates fired up. And that one lifted in the air center field. He's got it. And that is now. Back here in Houston, bottom of the inning. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Ripped to short. Lead off you know. retired here in the second. Here's Kyle Tucker. I'm streaming MLB now because tomorrow I'm gonna have a Battlefront 2 stream. Inside, Ball. just missed. So now here's Kyle Tucker. Tucker, former fifth overall yeah. pick in the 2015 draft by the Astros. This guy one and turned one. into a whale of a player. On the ground, right side. And Ew. he finds his way through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Now it's Alex Bregman. Foul ball. Yeah, that might work if you don't throw it down the middle, stupid. Right. the corner. Tucker... Hits for power. He's got 30 homer power, but the strikeout rate is under 20%. Quan calls it in, and there's two away. Gainer Diaz up next for the Astros. That one finds the zone, and it's 0 and 1. Diaz in his second season, 25 years old. Oh, bring in, dude. All set for the start of the inning. And now the right fielder. Come on, Quan, hit over the fence. And first offering is fouled off. I mean, that was early. Right. I'll take a blue single. And a board on the leadoff single. Hits in a row for him here. Pitch was in and off the plate. So hard to do anything with a pitch in that location. That's the ball. But somehow he got the barrel to one it and out. It well, pretty amazing. That one hammered center field. Good tie at the wall. Oh, okay. Boom goes the dynamite. He circles the bases. It's 10-0. And here's the first baseman, Mitch Garver. Fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. Can I not yank it foul? That'd be great. Now it's oh. check swing, but he held up. And that one is lifted in the air. Tucker on the move. And there's one down. Austin Martin now at the plate. He's already homered in this game. And that's ball. outside. One and oh. Still only one out here in the inning. Swung on, belted. McCormick going back. Holds yep. in on the warning track. Here's the second baseman, Colt Keith. Every I gotta think of who to parallel next after Colt Keith. I checked my swing there game, but okay. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. 
Probably gonna put Jackie at second. Those are the types of hits where you feel any too. vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good, balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. Here I am pulling a foul again. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. in now. That one ripped. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning. So coming into the game now on defense, Jackie Robinson. He'll play second. Jose Abreu leading things off and takes a and one. This is one of those times when you want to be aggressive. Rob Dibble taking over on the mound. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Hey. I'm bringing, dude. Out looking. Vic Caratini at the plate. Yeah. In there. It's 0 and 1. Dibble, a very difficult guy to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to strip. That miss, that's the ball. He wins every pitch. And for a hitter, sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of his pitches. Unless he beats himself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control of command that That's the ball. That's pretty inside. Much forget about it. Shortstop Jeremy Pena. Right yeah. There for a strike. As a hitter, there's even more pressure to take advantage of any mistake, right? Yeah, and you're hoping that two. somehow, some way, whether it's a hit by pitch, oh and two. a walk, something bad happens because outside yeah, right. ringing, dude. That's the ball game. Well, I don't know what they did in the cage day or on the field for batting practice, but when you win by double digit. Forty nine. Damn, I try I try to get fifty, but oh well, I'll get I'll take forty nine. Wanted number fifty. That sucks, but whatever. Really? So Cole Keefe is done, so we're going to put somebody else on the bench. Um, Correa. And the Warriors done, so we get rid of him too. Um, John Green, there we go. So we gotta move everybody up one. Gallo should be done in the next few games. He should be done in the next few games. Probably be done tomorrow. Definitely done tomorrow. Probably a few days because he's only got he only got P4 today, so probably a few days. And not even close. And not even close. All right. Wrong one.
go Jack later. Raven card will definitely go in my bullpen. A Kenley massive home run. It's two and two's gonna replace uh, Kenley in my bullpen. Kenley's been great for me, but Kendall Graveman I liked in the past, and, he hits a ground ball right and he's a good reliever for right now. So, and I have no plans of removing uh, Leclerc yet. So, Kenley's the one that's gotta go, unfortunately. If Kenley had a slider, cutter, sinker, then I might keep him, but the he has a two seam, so. Two down, nobody on. Ripped into right field, base hit. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. 110 miles per hour, and man, that accuracy. Not every hitter's capable of getting that kind of jump off the bat, no matter how hard they swing. Steven Quan. Now here is Rich Aurelia. That one hit to right. And that's a fair ball. Oh, it's really going to suck when we go in season two. Right and they have to reset us back down to 91 overall. Good thing in events and stuff, I can still use my 99s because I, I can't go through that uh, 91 to 99 shit again. I'll just parallel five ball to 99s in season one while I wait for season two 99s to come out. Because screw this power creep nonsense. Come on now, game. Here's Joey Gallo. First Ball. pitch misses. Gallo, in his eighth season, 29 years old, usually in center field, but today starting in left. Line drive, one down. He was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. Foul 
ball there. One thing I always felt if I played left field instead of center field was that the ball gets up to you pretty quick. And the most important ball. play is that ball down the left field line. Getting to it, cutting it off, making a strong throw to keep that single instead of turning it into a double. And he grounds one back up the middle. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. So a man of... Ford now with one away. Everything came together for him. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit. To third. To second with one away. That's a double. All right, a double. On the mound now, Brandon Belak. And never an easy situation coming in with runners at second and third. He's got a base to work with, so... Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Steven Kwan will hit next. Steven Kwan. First offering is Walking now. Off. Base is empty one away. Here at the top of the second. That one lifted to left. Alvarez in position. Makes the grab and there's two gone. The batter will be the shortstop, Rich Aurelia. There's a swing and a drive. Makes the shortstop against the wall. Uh, all right. Back here at Minute Maid Park. Standing in is the power hitting second. Appreciate everyone who's been checking out TikTok and shit. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying I'm to... I'm glad you guys are checking out the YouTube finesse. shorts as well. Go after hitters and get quick outs. Only I could find a way to want, want you guys watch my long form videos more. Ground up against the wall. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride Ball. up in the zone right there. Hitter... Looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just hey, beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. That's in there. And the count, one and two. So he's ringing, dude. Had him out front for strike three. Popped up. Under it. Makes the grab. Back here in Houston, out of the third inning, at the play, Mitch Garver. High in the air, out to right. Tucker puts it away for the out. And yeah, there's one away. Here's the second baseman, Jackie Robinson. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. So now, back to the top of the order. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Pretty good spot, hard and inside, but that's a perfect example of keeping your hand inside. Oh, this is deep to left center, way back there, on its way, gone! Another home run. His second home run of the game, and they add on. It's 11-0. Hard hit, left side. Tosses the first. Out. Score at 5 3 for the second out with the third baseman shifted over there. Out to short. Pena. On to first. He's out. And that'll do it. As we go to the last of the third. Now it's going to be Tanner Diaz. Raleigh Fingers will take over here. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. One. one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Hit. Strike of the knees. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected. Bring in, dude. Well, this was a game looking at the pitching matchup where you expected offense Hit. to one. score. And not as oh and one. as this. Um, but, yeah, you definitely Hit expect right. to see some offense coming up. Fly ball out towards left field. That's back there. And it hits the top of the wall. Abreu into second, and he's got a double. Okay.
That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you can yeah. make them pay. Oh, one. Back to the mound. It hit him. And they oh. get the out after the ricochet. So it's their last chance in this one. Now it's the shortstop, Jeremy oh, yeah. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. That one pushed foul. Rowley is just one strike away. Hit to right, and that should do it. And that is the ball game. 11-0 your final score for Chris Singleton. All right, last team over this side, and I gotta go attack the Yankees and the Braves, and then I'll make my way up. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. We've got Diamond Dynasty baseball tonight. It's Jupiter taking on the Houston Astros. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Stepping in, Austin Martin. For Jupiter, the designated hitter, Austin Martin. And here it comes. That one drilled left field. And That's, it goes foul. Foul. That's foul. foul. God damn it. That's the third. Tosses the first. Up. Just got to get a uh, 33. Zingy is currently the team no. leader in runs batted in. 40-43. This to center field. So I got to get a home run. If I get 66 again, that'd be great. But I got to get a home run and, and a double one. And a fly out, and it should be P5 Gallo. So, I don't know if I'll get it this game, but let's see. What a swing, by the way. Love when I hit 100% on the pinpoint, but I when I slam down, it's yellow. And that's great. One more thing he's got to think about. Ball. Yeah, Damn it. One ball, one strike. Third time's a charm. Oh. No. Oh, ringing, dude. He swung over top of the curveball. Chaz McCormick in the box now. Take strike one. Get a ball popped up. He's got it. And there are two outs. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. Hey. A good fastball to start him off. That's strike oh one. one. Hey -ya. Strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's ball. not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0 2 count. Ground ball up the middle. Aurelia. Sends it to first, and, the and we're back. Here's the third baseman, Alex Gordon. France, back to work. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. France measures six feet even. He features a four-seam fastball, a cutter, a changeup, a curve, and occasionally mixes in the slur. And a foul ball, he stays alive. To the right side. Abreu handles the chance. Oh. He steps on the bag. One out in the second. Now it's the right fielder, Stephen Kwan. Hit hard on the ground is short. Over to Got Abreu. You. Two up, two down on the top of the second. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. 
Nice try, McCormick. Don't wonder Chapman hit you with a 104 mile an hour fastball off the shin. I don't know what's happening to the Rangers this year, man. There's a rocket into the outfield. Around third. He scores, and they lead by two. Their pitching's just line. terrible. In that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it in the center for the knock. Those always feel good. One out. Oh. Robinson in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. I like the Blue Jays, but I'm glad Gosman lost tonight. I hope Gosman goes one goes like I hope Gosman only gets ten wins this year and gets more losses than wins. So we can get off the blue jays. Swings and lines one towards the gap. It gets down, base hit. Here comes Garver. One run across. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the Eric Gallo. Great hands on that swing to take the inside pitch and drive it into the gap for the double. Oh, now this is blasted. Yeah, it should be P5 there, but we'll see after the game. That ball was crushed. And they hand to the lead. It's six nothing. Base is empty with two away. Mike Napoli now at the plate. Ground ball, left side, That's foul. and foul ball. In the air, right side. Reaching for it, makes the catch. Bottom of the second, Jose Altuve up to hit here. Yeah. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack oh. instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Hey. Kyle Tucker, batting with one down, takes a strike. Right two. And a miss. Oh, and two now. He's dealing oh, with a great two-strike hitter right here. The strikeout is One ball, automatic. two strikes. Yeah, that skips in the dirt. Could see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. One down, base is empty. Don't right. bring it, dude. Struck him out. And now it's Alex Bregman. That's a strike. Jack Leiter, you're finishing the inning. Ah. Okay, if your arm falls off. Bones bringing deep. The Astros turn to a new arm on the mound, Seth Martinez. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a Oh, I ripped that shit. Oh my god. You know, this group of hitters do a good job of putting the ball into play. That's the ball. And that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. It's tough to remember the times they've actually swung and missed at a pitch. That one is absolutely belted. One hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Into second easily with a leadoff double. He was all over that one. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. And now, Alex Gordon. I didn't know where I wanted that to, to go, to be honest. Clobber to right field, way back. And now the right fielder, Stephen Kwan. And that one is lifted in the air. No trouble here, puts it away. That sucks. One away. So up next, Rich Aurelia. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Fought off foul. One down, base is empty. Outside, ball. Right-hander deals. Ball, that's ball. high. 
Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Three on one. Close with that one, and that's ball three. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Throw not he's in there. In hey. time, he's safe. One gone runner at first. Mitch Garver digs in now. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Ground ball left side could be two. There's he's one. On the first oh. double play, and that's the inning. Back here in Houston, and now the DH, Gainer Diaz. And now he steps off the rubber. Can we get on the pitch here? And you know, nope. bullpen guys can nope. struggle Ball. sometimes when they're called upon with big leads. One and oh. It just doesn't have oh, yeah. the same intensity. Good job, Ken Lee. Just keep throwing it down the middle. We'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Ball. That one missed. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Dominguez settles underneath it, and there's one hit. Jose Abreu up to hit. He's yeah. in there, and that's strike one. Hey! If I threw that online, that would have been crushed to the moon. And that's ball. downstairs and outside. And a pitch. Swing three. Ringing, dude. Misses, struck him out. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. The Astros down to their final strike. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. And that'll do it. 8 nothing is how this one ends for Chris Single. All right, time to see if Gallo's P5 or it's another game. Okay. Let's go. Gallo's done too. Perfect. Napoli's done. Really? Thought it'd be another game for him. But alright. Gallo. Napoli got 55. Alright. So Gallo and Napoli are done. So that's 29 on the year. Yeah, 29 on the year. So that's a huge W there. So now that they're both done, I can put Braun back at left. Garver at catcher. Now who's going to play first? Adam Dunn. But if, what I think about Adam Dunn is I don't like his vision. One for six. Just like real life. Um, I can't with Vlad's new swing. I can't. It, it looked good when they used it, and then I tried it myself. It's just like, nah, I can't do it. Sardo. Svato at. Let's do Votto. Put Votto there. Move down. Everybody move down. Down. Okay. Okay, there we go. Alright, so Jackie's got a bat nine now. Alright, Jason's almost there. Gordon's almost there. So let's see. How many packs? Six. All right. Open them all at once. 
when I'm done. Uh, do we want to do the Yankee? Uh, let's do that. Go against the Yankees. Alright, let's get it. So we got three P5s tonight, let's go. I'll post them all on uh, Reddit and YouTube in a little bit. Add them up to 30 now. That'll be my TikTok tomorrow. Every 10 parallel, every 10 I get, I put a video together for it this year instead of doing them all at once. So that's good. First pitch coming your way next. And the batter now, Austin Martin. The lefty fires. Back outside. outside. And with that, we're underway in the Bronx. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, I start wondering, I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, a hundred and... Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way, gone. He powers that one out of here. It's 2 nothing. Alex Gordon will hit next. That's a ball. Swing, and he held up. Part of the order Counts coming one through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. I wish this Alex Gordon card was better against the lefties because every time I every time I use Alex Gordon, I hit better lefty lefty with him than righty lefty with him. Left field, way back there. That one's carrying. Oh, you are a star, aren't you? They go back to back, and they add a run. It's three nothing. I know this is offline, but still case in point. Patton better online with lefty, lefty with Quan too. I don't know why. Quan has better stats versus righties. Alright, Rich. Didn't learn home run. Damn it. Out there to center. He's got it. And there's two away. Now the left fielder, Ryan Braun. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both okay. righties and lefties. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris. And it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy. I got a ball, one strike. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy got that a ball is one strike. the lineup. And, I think it's and keep it fair. That should be gone, right? Let's go. Back to the lineup, Ryan Braun. It's so crazy, and only 23 at P5, almost P5 1 1, almost all his cards. 23 with a fun year. Ball one, no strike. With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. Two out, space is empty. Well struck left field. And oh, okay. Not okay. Enough behind that one. John Birdie at the plate. The Yankees in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. Need a good at bat out of him right here. Pitch. And a 
foul ball. Miller, not a big strikeout guy, but still very effective as far as starting pitchers go. One of those guys that involves the defense and really gets him involved in the action. Phone's Three ringing, dude. Serious gas at 102 on that one. Here's Glaber Torres. He moves hey. the ball around all the quadrants of the strike zone and will add and subtract velocity. And because of that, he gets the weak contact. It's all about missing the barrel of the bat. The frig do you sp I don't think he's on my team anymore. Shit. I think that's how you spell it. It is. Okay. Oh, it's. Mmm. Uh, I switched the I and the E around. Yeah, I switched that around. Shit. There we go. That's not what I want. Unright. Sorry, I'm just on Reddit right now. It's posted in my P5, so the paralleling Reddit page that I use with. Can it not? Can you not, Glaber? That'd be great. Exactly. When teams are looking for high velocity, high strikeout rates, a guy like this doesn't necessarily do that. So, in order to really appreciate how good he Damn is, it. you have to see him because if you're just looking at a stat sheet, you might overlook him. Liner, face hit. So they so get a board with this guard. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and lifted into the outfield. So I'm at 28. Aaron Judge at is a 25, 26, 27, yeah, 28. I'm at 28 P5s. The play. <laughs> hey! On a triple digits. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the hey! bat right here. Try to close that gap. But no balls, two strikes. If you could Bones bring in, dude. Manufacture that run from first. It feels like it's cool. really. Soto in the box now. No balls in a strike. And that's through there for a strike. Gets a piece and stays alive. Right into the plate. Ball Just one. Misses with that one. Well, he's not afraid one ball, two to strikes, the count. fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike. If he swings her. And yeah, they'll do it again. I should have dove. Keeps the back going with a foul ball. That's ball two. Ball. Grinding AB right here. About okay, one soda. We understand you like fouling the ball off. Hey. Oh, ringing, dude. Yeah, look at that one, dumb shit. <laughs> Top of the second, leading off Joey Votto. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. Votto, 37 years young. And he was a second round pick back in 2002. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And that gets down into the gap. Safe at second. You're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it. Makes a nice grab and a full sprint. And there's one down. Back to the top of the lineup. Next is the designated hitter, Austin Martin. Singled and scored his first time. That's hard hit on the line. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. 
Now a streamer into the outfield. Drops it to Love, and that is that. Bottom half of inning number two. Now up is the Yankees' D. A new arm into the game, the righty, Dennis Eckersley. And we all know about his slide. It's just filthy, man. And all the ones better ones in the game, I'd say, spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Kicks and fires. Aye. One finds the zone. 0-2. Fights it off. You'll see another. I was bringing, dude. I hope they bring back that uh, charisma Rob Nen this year. Because that was my favorite reliever last year. I did so well with Rob Nen. I wonder why we haven't got a Brian Wilson card yet. I know we have the Rob Nen Marlins card, but that one's not as good. Don't you know, Yankees, I hit a home run when I was scoring lefty lefty last at bat? Like, what the fuck? Ah, oh, I thought that would go. And that's a leadoff double. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of the stick. Left field, Verdugo ranging after it. Damn. There, he's got it. I know he has 61 power, but that could have been at least off the wall. Or dropped in front of him. The batter will be the shortstop, Rich Aurelia. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Up the middle, nice grab from his knees. The throw. He's out. Mitch really a swing kind of reminds me of Nick Swisher's just a tad bit, so that's why I like him. But you know, he's already homered here in this one. He's got that similar stance. Base hit and a run into score. Comes through with the ups. And now here is Mitch Garber. He's 0 for 1. And that one hammered. Soto moving back for Just late be great. Let's go. Goes the dynamite. Two outs, nobody on. And now the first baseman, Joey Votto, doubled his first time up. Hard on the ground to first. Takes it himself oh. to the bag. I'll have Rob. No, I'll have Raleigh Fingers level 5. I almost said Rob Dibble. <laughs> I'll have Raleigh Fingers pair level 5 tomorrow. I'm not worried about one of ones this year. Only time I go for a one of one, if it's a card I'm going to use in season 2. That's one of my wild cards. Which most of the cards that I want to use in season two for my wild cards are big names, so basically I'll never get one of one of those cards. But ringing, dude. So, not right worry about one of ones this year. I got two. That's good enough for me. Displaying the play this year. I love how that's a strike, even though it's clearly a ball. Swing and a grounder foul, first base side. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. And that'll do it. This one ends 7 0.
There we go. Actually, we'll come back to the Braves. I want to going to get it clear in this out if possible. Of course. chance for Austin Martin a wind in the pitch that's the third throw on to Got Olsen him. one out in the top of the first Jason Dominguez the next to hit ground ball right side takes it himself oh. two up two down stepping in the long ball threat Alex Gordon that one ripped Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. And a pitch. That hey. hits the zone. That's strike one. He's a master at hitting fastballs. You need to be careful with location ah. if you're going to throw him. No ball, two strikes. Three. Phone's down ringing, down dude. Strikes. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Michael hey. Harris stands in now and All watches one's the count. strike one. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Braun under it. They got it for out number two. Here's Austin Riley. Hey. It's in there for strike one. Hey. Right the swing there. Oh, and two. 
I was bringing it. New inning getting started. Now it's the right fielder, Stephen Kwan. Check swing. He went. Oh, and one. Hard ground ball pace now. So a man on base to start the inning. Everything came together for him. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Ah, now this ball splits the gap in right center, and it gets by him. Coming home. He scores, and they have the lead. One to First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be a well, Jesse Chavez gets the ball now. And that's a big potential run out there in second. As he uh, I missed the days, but Darren O'Day came out of the Braves bullpen. And every time me and, <laughs> me and someone else always complained about, oh, great, there's Darren O'Day. <laughs> it's every single conquest game. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track. Ah, uh, Cutter moved so much. First, finally gets the first down here on the grounder. And the batter now is Joey Votto. Hey. They went, Chavez. It is oh, one's the count. season, 40 years old now. He joined the team as a free agent. Line drive, I didn't mind Jesse Chavez on the uh, Braves. And, and I didn't mind him on the Blue Jays either. And here is didn't like him as much on the... Uh, was it the Rangers or was it the Red Sox? I think it was the Rangers. I didn't like him on. Uh, it was the Rangers, yeah. Wasn't a huge fan of him on the Rangers. Man at second. Up the middle, Arcia. Fires to first on the run. Out. They get the out on Robinson. So two down now, and here is Austin Martin. Grounded out his first time. Drive. He's got it. Nice. Rain glove. I'll open a millionaire pack though when I get it. I open those all the time right away. So I know it's going to be a try again, anyways. So, i will pull off the band aid, you know? Oh, one's the count. Through that one. one no ball, two Finds the corner, and that is strike one. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. Ron's reaction kind of scares me half the time. Ah, well, he settles up. Aaron Bummer comes on now. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And he can't come up with it. Oh, we booted that. That's an error. First, and we'll see how they score it. It was not an error, it was a hit. Alright. I'll take it. On the ground right side. That's the whole play. You're out! But it's not in time, and they just get one. And now the right fielder, Steven Kwan. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Got a foul ball. Man at first. After the stream, I gotta go record uh Injustice 2 video. Then tomorrow I'll have a Battlefront 2 stream. Bomber deals. Foul ball, it stays Shit. Two. On the ground, could be two. Flips it. Oh, oh he's back. Over hey, to he's good. That's one. Over to first, but he beats it. Here's the the four Braves, they can't owe me off. That's unfortunate. Back at Truist Park, Adam Duvall at the play. Aaron Bummer 
into the game. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's that's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try One ball, two strikes out. to count. Ball, that that's just inside. This is the inside corner, and the count is even two and two. Out towards left center, Dominguez under it. Makes the catch for the out. So here's Murphy now. Eight. In there at the knees for a strike. The Braves trailing by three here in the last half of the third. And he does it himself for the out. A couple of pitches and a quick out. Swing and a ground ball the middle. That's a of course, is Marcel as soon as it gets a hit. Who else would it be? All over that one right there. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the Swing and a foul straight back. Ball. Just missed. Oh, that's what's there. And it's two and one. Ozuna leads off first with two down to the inning. That's a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. In the air, left field down the line. Get there, Braun. Let's go. A shutout in this one. Three nothing. Our final. Yay! Trying to time to get a try again. Ball one, okay. Buxton. Oh, it's not a try again, you know. At least I got uh, 900 stubs. So I'll take it. All right, now we're on our way to beating Texas, and then the Angels, and then the White Sox, and then the Athletics. Yeah, okay. Uh, right, chat, I'll be back in. in a few minutes. Texas. We've got open air baseball for you on the show. Ready to go now? now Now it's the shortstop, Derek Jeter. The 1-1. One -one. Swings and misses and one down below the zone. One ball, two strikes. to look up and see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. Back in the day, that was a pretty good fastball. But with high velocities these days, 
That speed differential is right where it needs to be. The one, two. Gita two and two. That one as it misses the zone for a ball. Wouldn't That's the ball. That time. Well, he's so Counts great both. about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten ball him four. up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Bernie Williams. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. And now one away. So digging in, Adrian Beltre. And that'll fall for a base hit. Lead runner around second. They'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. There are a lot of nicknames people have attached to hits like that. Blooper, flare, duck snort, lawn dart, etc. But whatever you want to call it, it's a knock. And those are the ones that will make you smile as a hitter just about every time. Here's a big power threat. Mark McGuire. Swing and a high fly ball to left. A Rosarina under this one. Makes the grab. Runner tags from third. And they'll score first. It's one zip. Well, he's always capable of losing one over the fence. He might have just missed it right there, but a good job driving that run from third. Here's some real power at the plate. Frank Thomas. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Yeah! Offering is in for a strike. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find That's a ball. way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Hey. It's a strikeout. Pulled the string of the changeup. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. On to the bottom of the first. The Beasts out front, one to nothing. Back here with my pal Siggy. And on the mound in this one, Roy Halliday. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. A defensive swing right there, some cheese on the inside part of the plate. But the hands are still stinging after that one. Three, three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Now it's Corey Seager. One down, base is empty. Good eye no, right that miss. That's the ball. Righty delivers. That one fouled off. One out, base is empty. And full now count. the count is full. And another power hitter lurking in the on deck circle. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there, anyhow. Run around at first with one gone. Now at the plate, Mike Trout. And he deals. Hit hard. That gets through. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. I really like that swing. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite the field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Now a pretty big at-bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. 
here is Aaron Judge. Hunt! And misses. And the count one and is two. one and two. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. The designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Two on, two outs. Yeah, That's the ball. ball. A tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Two outs. Here! First inning, and already up to 23 pitches. You know, he can move the ball around, add and subtract get some weak contact at times so you don't worry as much about him in this situation very capable of getting the ground ball and get out of this little jam got him swinging it's a strikeout couldn't catch up to the heater he's in a tough spot had to make a great pitch did it got the strikeout gets out of the jam Clearly, he's happy with those results. Back in Arlington, all set for the start of the inning. Here's the veteran outfielder, Sammy Sosa. The pitch. That no, misses. that missed. Three and one. in there at the knees. Full count. And now the lefty battling here as he fouls it away. Three, two. Towards first. Diaz He's out. takes it to the bag. Bat was a strong at bat, even though she couldn't find a way on base. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And here is Ryan Braun. Close ball. one. Doesn't get the call. Two and one. Hit. Breaking ball drops in for a strike. You got a full count. The inside corner, full count now. That one called just inside, I think, and on the mound, he's trying to get a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be too bothered by it, though, but he clearly thought it clipped the corner. The kick, the 3 2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Fair ball. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Pudge Rodriguez digs in now. Runner, Kicks runner. and deals. Runner takes off. Foul ball there. Here's a one-two. Right. Looking not to strike out. Here's the veteran second baseman, Chase Utley. Two outs. 
That one fouled off. Two and two. Left hand hitter waits. Count is full. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Derek Jeter in the on deck circle. At the belt and fires. Ah, number three. We played an inning and a half. It's 1 0. at Globe Life Field. Now it's Randy at Rosarena. I'm back. Let's get back into the conquest. Three days away from the new program. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, I think we'll do that. every time I stream, it'll be the show, and I had to go do something. I'll just put on a CPU versus CPU game. It's still Game Boy after all, you know. Yeah, I went to uh, get some crackers and make a sandwich. All right, so let's go with the Marauders. My headset should have connected to my iPad, I think. Let's do it together, stream. Welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Diamond Dynasty Baseball on tap tonight. Now it's the DH, Austin Martin. The pitch. That one ripped right center field. That's back. Good way to start the game, Austin Martin with a home run. Let's get it. <coughs> he wastes no time on this one. And they grab the lead. It's 1-0. Jason Dominguez getting ready to hit. Dang and a miss. Looked off balance. Oh, and one. That one ripped, but foul. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered. He's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. Stays alive. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in any. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big game. Rip to first. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Come on now, it's Gordon. Hit home run. Ball off foul. Damn it. One down, base is empty. That, one that was the pitch, too. Is that gone, or is that caught the wall? Back. Yeah, that's kind of the wall. Sadness. Stephen Kwan, the next to hit. High fly ball, pretty well struck out. 
out towards right center. That one back there. Gone. Stephen Kwan leaves to Park Dosum now. It's their second home run of the inning. It's 2 nothing. Rich Aurelia will hit next. In the air, out towards right center. Duran pulls it in on the run. We go to the bottom of the first. Now the left fielder, Evan Carter. The pitch. That one foul. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. That nope. just misses. Now one and two. In the air to left center, sizing this one up. One up, one down. Here is Marcus Simeon. Hey. Strike 95 of that one. Now Marcus, a career high 45 homers in 2021 hey. with the no Blue Jays. He parlayed strike. that into a seven year free agent deal with the Rangers. Fights it off, you'll see another. Hey. Phone's the ringing, dude. Struck him out. Slider got him for a strike three. Corey yep, Seager that ball went out. in with two away as he takes a ball. To third. And that's foul. just foul. The wind of the pitch. Ah. And now one and two. One two ball, two empty. strike. Hey. Phone's ringing, dude. Is. Taking over on the mound for the Rangers, Kirby Yates. Just trying to Kirby keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Honestly, surprised he's not injured yet, IRO. Garcia tracks it down for the out. <coughs> that man can't stay healthy. Ever since he left the Padres. Hey! Hi, damn it. All one's the count. One strike. Swings and fouls one off. And a one two. Ball, that ball. pitch is out. One to right. Garcia. Press not dropping. Nice. Two outs, base is empty. And the batter now is Joey Votto. Kicks deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Garcia racing over to make the catch. <coughs> and welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the second. Now it's the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. The 0 1. Dolos' ALCS card, championship MVP, whatever he was, whatever it was, it was MVP of the ALCS card, was one of my favorite cards last year towards the end of the year. Phone's ringing, dude. I liked Josh Young's postseason card too last year. It was hard to hit inside pitches with, but it was still fun to use. Phone's ringing, dude. It's down. Two away. And now the switch hitting catcher, Jonah Heim. Yeah. Next ball for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Probably Saturday, I'm going to do some rank co op with randoms. Hey. 
Well, somebody comes by and plays, but I really want to get the Grom. I don't care about my record, I just want innings, so we'll see how it goes. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of them right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Anderson, a six foot righty. Uh, of course, got to warm up in events first. A four seamer, and he works in a change up. Dives, and he can't If the event's fun to play, if it's not fun to play, then I'm not going to play it. And they don't get an out on the play. I'll look at the requirements and see if it's, if it's worth playing. On the ground, two ball. On the semi, out. But if it's going to be just the Grom and Brandy simulator, yeah, I'm good. I could deal with Randy this year, but the Grom being a 97, I don't know about that one, Chief. Because most of my guys are low contact, so that's not going to be fun. I know low, co low contact because it's matter on All Star, but still. Pull, that's inside. Raleigh, you're getting pulled. New pitcher on now, Rob Dibble. These are the spots where right, Dibbles really make a name for themselves. Late, very close. Two. There's not much margin for error, but at the same One ball, time, there's two a strike. reason they're put in these situations. This stream does not end until it finishes conquest. See, I'm gonna try to stream tomorrow. Not fully sure yet. Bones ringing, dude. It's a strikeout. Here's Leody Tavares. I gotta get better at making thumbnails. That's probably why I have low views on my full video, full uh, long form videos. Strike three, sit down. Check your. Let's go. I had the XP cap. Fun. Alright, so we got the Angels, and then we got to go up to the White Sox and on the Athletics. So, first things first. Alright, because we're going to be having some trouble with the Zoo 10. So, oh, let's put some defense behind it. Alright, so we got to go against the Angels. So, we're going to be using Rub Dibble. No, we're going to be using Raleigh Fingers. Tonight's the second to last episode of a uh, bad match. The stream will be up on YouTube at noon tomorrow. We're gonna have the uh, Injustice 2 video up at 8. And then probably Battlefront 2 at 6. And maybe in Mortal Kombat 1 Portal Gate makes a video. Uh, we got to, uh... Second with two outs. The batter will be the 
But uh, starting Thursday, we're going to start the 100 percenting. So I don't know if I'm going to stream them or just do them as videos. I'm not sure yet. Bottom of the first. Now, Mickey Monia. As he turns on the rubber, with that good live arm delivers. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Not sure. And here it comes. Hey. the corner. That is strike two. Would you, uh, would you guys want me to go back to Modern Warfare 3 for a stream? Up the middle. Oh, he gloves it to his knee. The throw. Oh. And that's a great play for the out. Now the number two hitter. Definitely got to get uh, the tennis yeah. game, but uh, just when it goes on sale, because that game interests me. Looks pretty fun to play. Yeah. The top spin 2K25. Oh and two. Out of the left center for a line drive base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Here's Trout. Swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Oh and one. Boog, the runner at first needs to be careful Red right two. here. He's dealing with the pickoff artist on the ball. Oh and two. Phone's hey. ringing, dude. Now two out. Brandon Drury in the box with two gone. And it's oh and one. A called strike. Hey. Ha. Oh and two now as he swings through. No ball. Two strikes. Now a bullet to second base, but he's. Welcome back, and we've got a new. Hey, Jimmy Hurkett. Shot to third. Zips it across. Oh. Lead off man retired here in the second. Hey, Mitch Garber. Mitch Garber. Ball outside. With one away as he takes ball one. Let's do this. Wouldn't ball. chase that time. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. He made him pay for that one, and that's how they take the lead. It's one zip. Would you get Garver P5? I don't know if I'm going to use him or Napoli. Back towards the wall. Up against the wall and brings it in. I hate how close I got to pull my mic to my face. So taking in Jackie Robbins. The worst thing ever. Smoke to the left, base hit, and that turns the lineup over. So the batting order turns over, and next is the designated hitter, Austin Martin. Two outs. And there's a rocket into the outfield. He's on second. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two on. <coughs> base hits. Just a solid swing. So the Angels turn to their bullpen for a new pitcher, Jose Cisnero. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Shanowell takes it himself oh. to the bag, and that. Well, one run game. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Luis Rangifo. Third baseman. Luis Rangifo. The right hander back to work. Hey. Strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. And, two. and it's nothing in two. Oh and two. Raw, I think, are just going to be one of the cards I wild card. I know that for sure. Here comes a pitch. Broken Once they come out with a, um, a 99 Joe Nason this season, then maybe he'll beat him out for a wild card, but we'll see. There for strike one. Oh, and one. And obviously, 99 Randy, when that comes out, is going to be a wild card guaranteed. 99 Prince Fielder is going to be a wild card. Unless. We 
get a uh, a Chipper Jones. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center Chipper field. Jones and Joe Maurer and Jose, Jose Posada were my wild cards last year. We're back to start the third, and there's a new arm on the mound, number 59. Switching back and forth. They're looking for quality pitches out of them right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And the pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hit to right. <coughs> man aboard. Waste no time there. At 110 miles per hour on the exit velo. That thing was screaming, and that's some serious bat speed to generate contact like that. And no doubt, a higher launch angle sends that thing out of here easily. And there's a fly ball deep right field. That's down one hop. Steve ball. and Quan. He'll score easily. It's two nothing. It's a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Pitch was in and off the plate. So hard to do anything with the pitch in that location, but somehow he got the barrel to it and hit it well. Pretty amazing. Now here is out towards right center field. One down. Here's the left fielder, Ryan Broad. He's over one. And that's Ball. off the inside edge. Ball one. Base hit right there. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. Righty reliever out of the pen, Luis Garcia. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Mitch Garver up to hit here. Strike one. In the infield at the corners. Oh and one. Surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. a base hit as a run scores. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off the tee. And first offering is fouled off. Two on, one out. Hit hard, base hit. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded, only one away. Now it's the second baseman, Jackie Robinson. And he's already singled in this game. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. He's got it, out number two. Digging in, Austin Martin, one for two. If you're trying to keep the line moving, this is the guy you want at the plate. Such a good hitter, can also flash some power. Base hit, one run is in. Now a long throw, but it's offline. That's a double. <coughs> Oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. At the play, one -oh. Jason Dominguez. The pitch. There's a swing and a drive. Back there. Goodbye, home run. A three-run dinger. It's 8-0. Matt Moore will take over here. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. So two down. Alex Gordon. Dig. He's in now. That's one. Did he go? Yes, he did. No ball, one strike. <coughs> In the air, center field. Trout makes the grab, and that'll end the inning.
as we go to the last of the third. And now the shortstop, Zach Neto. Pitching change here, Kenley Jansen. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position oh, one. to face a couple of lefties. One and one. I wonder what I was throwing there, to be honest. Through that one for strike two. One, two. Bell's ringing, dude. Three. Out looking. Nolan Shonowell. Now at the plate. Zero balls, one strike. Strike one. Yeah. Pitch gets the corner, and it's 0 and 2. 0 and 2. Bell's ringing, dude. So they're down to their final out. And now the right. Yeah, what? Mickey Moniak. 0 and 1. Pitch. Aye. Two down, nobody on. You're in the last. No ball, two strikes. Swing and he breaks his back. On to first. Let's go. Game. Let's go. I thought he was going to be safe there. Go around the horn. Or not. That all right, let's do this. There. Little shit, aren't you, Oakland? <clears throat> All right, finish this conquest out. There's his conquest out and call it a night. And now the DH, Austin Martin. The wind and the pitch. That one the other way. Lopez. Fires over He's to out. first. And a quick out number one. So wait. So up next, <coughs> Jason this just gave his season awards card to Cutter. And a foul ball. Live series doesn't have it, but they won't give him outlier. And a pitch. Okay. Sure. This one in the air center field. Robert on the move. He's I pulled an easy eye down. Sucks. 
That's just a really nice catch on the run right there. He saved extra bases for sure. If the pitcher's his friend, he'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. 0-1 now. This one popped up. Under it. Eric Crochet, apparently a Cy Young against me. I can't hit him for some reason. Andrew sending. Benintendi up to the plate. Andrew the Benintendi. The that one finds Honestly, I forgot he was still a White Sox. Benintendi, the former first round pick, Golden yeah. Spikes Award winner. Pitches in there. No to be honest, I forgot drops. he was a White Sox. Righty delivers. Three. Phone's ringing, dude. Game. That's how much I care about White Sox baseball. The White Sox. <laughs> and a foul ball. <clears throat> One out Is this the same Dominic Andy? Fletcher whose gold card I couldn't hit with? Oh my god. Of course. One ball, two strikes. Fouls it off, still one and two. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Quan going back, and it's caught just in front of the wall. Luis Robert now. Ball Inside, one ball one. In for a strike. Righty to the plate. Aye. A swing and a miss there. One Two ball. Space is Two strikes. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. Dominguez makes the play and that's out. Back at guaranteed rate field. Top of the second. And now, Steve. That one is absolutely belted. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Benintendi hustles to get it in. They hold the runner at second. So another base hit could get us our first run in this one. Runner in scoring position. No outs. Stepping in. Here's a drive out to right center. Way back there. Look out. Gone. A towering shot. It's 2 nothing. Stepping in, Ryan Broad. Out to short, the young. One out, oh. second. Mitch Garber up to hit here. My mic's going off for tonight. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. And first offering is fouled off. Right hater deals. And that one fouled off. And he deals. This to third. Moncada. And there he goes. Hey man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Joey hey. at the plate with two away. Swings through that oh, one. And one. Swung on, belted. Back there. Goodbye, home run. So digging in, Jackie Robinson. And that one is lifted in the air. And that'll fall for a base hit. So a lefty out of the pen, Tim Hill. Austin Martin, the next to hit. And first offering is fouled off. Hard hit left side. He's out. out. Aloy Jimenez now. The wide to kick the pitch. Hey. Swing and a miss. And that strike one. one's the count. Swings through that. No balls, two strikes. 
That smash towards center. Dominguez makes the catch. And there's one away. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it. But sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. Eight, miss. Two. It was late. Strike two. Oh, and two. Three. Oh, ringing, two dude. This has struck him out. Paul Young in the box now. No balls in a strike. Ball for a strike. And the count is 0 and 2. Three. Bones ringing. We're back to start the third, and there's a new arm on the mound, number 60. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Jason Dominguez. And that one in the air center field. Robert moves under it. Calls it in, and there's one away. Alex Gordon getting ready to hit. First time up was a pop out. Clobber to right field, way back, gone. A solo shot, and they boost their lead. It's 4-0. Next to hit, Stephen Kwan. That one ripped. And it hits the fence. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been, but obviously you have to be happy with that result. Now it's going to be, and there's a rocket into the outfield. Coming home. Throws to second. He's out. Down going for two. But one run is in to score. Two outs, base is empty. Ryan Braun now to play. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Back-to-back -back singles. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And no throw. He's into first easily. Dominic Leon taking over on the mound. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. There you go. Tries to check his swing. Now will look to third. No swing. Gary Simmons with the call. Hard ground ball, base knock. Around third, fires it to the plate. It's offline. No, he beat it. He's dead. Well done, drives in the run. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but it's a good approach paying off. Oh, and one. Hit, Jackie Robinson. Base hit, one run is in. Here's the throw to the plate. It's off the mark and he scores. Safely into second, he's got a double. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive into center field. So that definitely felt good. Now, Austin oh. Martin in time. Back here on the south side, Andrew Vaughn now. So the closer summoned from the bullpen, Billy Wagner. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him, so he should be fairly free and easy out there. You still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. Hey! Here's the strike. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. One and ball, skips two strikes. Good job to fight that one off. Three. Oh, he's ringing, dude. Out swinging. Slider got him for a strike three. Man, oh, one's the count. One away. On the ground, right side. One at second. That's an out. Out. Got it. Play to end it. Eight nothing is how this one ends.
for Chris Singleton and our entire out. Ready to go. Now it's the DH, Austin Martin. On the ground to third, Davis. Throws across That's the enough. diamond, one up, one down. And now Jason Dominguez. Jason's going to be close, right? Liner out at second. So two down now, and here is Alex the third, Gordon. The third baseman. And that one hammered. That's back there. Oh, you are a star, aren't you? And it gives him the lead in the first. It's 1-0. Now fly ball to right center. Ruiz on his way over. Long run. And striding to the plate now for Oakland. Este Yuri Ruiz. Takes hey, the corner. Ha. Going one. On the inside corner for a strike. On the ground right side. And he takes Got himself him. for the out. Next up for the A's, Zach Yellow. Swing and a miss, strike one. One out, oh base is empty. Big swing and a miss. Oh and two. Foul ball still 0 and 2. The pitch. Hey, oh, man, dude. Is, it's a strikeout. Fly ball down the line. Braun moving under this one. Brings it in. And new inning getting started. Here's the shortstop at the play. Rich Aurelia. Bounce to third. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. No throw, and they can't get the out. Danny Jimenez on the pitch here. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. That one fouled off. Yo one. Base knock right field. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Mitch Garver up to hit here. On its way to the corner. Rooker on the move. Snags it on the run. And there's one down. And the batter now is Joey Votto. And that one fouled off. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. I love how he tracked the ball right there and was able to get through that fastball just a little bit late. Otherwise, it stays fair. I think if the top hand is a little stronger, same swing produces a home run. Two on, one out. Hey! He's on now. Jackie Robinson digs in now. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. And a base hit. Here comes the throw. He's safe. And the run scores. Well, he comes through clutch with the RBI single. That was big. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Base hit. One run already. Throw in holds that trail runner at third base. They're at the corners with two away. Jason Dominguez. The next to hit. 
Foul ball there. Fought off foul. He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. One, two. Inside. Now move to first. Nope, he and he's stayed. back in standing. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. And a one-two again. To the right side. Noda. He does it himself. Back in Oakland. And here is J.D. Davis. In there at the knees. Strike one. Yeah. Swing to miss. O2. Fly ball center field. Makes the grab. Nice play after the long run. And there's one down. Ryan oh, yeah. Noda. Now in the box. Comes up empty. Oh, and one. Swing there. Hi. Strike two. No ball. Two strikes. Phone's ringing, dude. Down on strikes, two out. Shea ah. Langoliers. Now at the plate as he swings. No ball, one strike. strike. One. Two the run. Quarter for a strike, and a count is 0 and 2. In the air, right field. Quan heads after it and makes the grab. Left hander out of the bullpen, Kyle Muller. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. And it's through for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. I mean, he was just perfect. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Goodbye, home run! He flexes his power with that swing, and they throw a pair on the board. It's five zip. Now a chance for Rich Aurelia. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these guys doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. It's tough to remember the times they've actually swung and missed at a pitch because it really hasn't happened. They've made contact on nearly 100% of their swings. Now the left fielder, Ryan Braun. This one lifted in the air, left field, Brown settles underneath it, and he makes the catch. Two down. Here's the catcher, Mitch Garver. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there, that front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. That could be a dangerous pitch if you don't get it inside enough because as a hitter, you see it coming across the plate the whole way. No problem handling it and putting a good swing on it. That's He's out. The throw in time to Back here in the East Bay, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here is Seth Brown. And a base hit into right center field. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Here's Miguel and Duhar. Pop foul out of play off to the right. You're going to get something going. This is the time to do it. You get the lead off. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Nick Allen will hit next. They hand the ball over to a new arm. Raleigh Fingers. And I can't imagine any save is an right. easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard. And you know those hitters are going to give you the best. No, that they missed. Can. That's a ball. So it's always high stress. One ball, Let's one see strike. What he's got here to try and close it out. Hey, heck. there's a swing and a miss. Nobody one and two is the count. Out. You're in the last half of the third. Hey. Oh, ringing, dude. They struck him out and one away. Ruiz ball, that's high. At the plate and takes high there. Raleigh, a very difficult guy hey. to get hits off of. It's really rare for one teams and one. to string stuff together against him. He wins every pitch, and for a hitter, 
Sometimes if one ball, two strikes. Fouling off one of his pitches. Hey. Oh, bring in, dude. That's a strikeout. And a foul ball. Unless he beats himself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control to end that day. Pretty much forget about it. Oh, and two. Athletics down to their final strike. Hey. Oh, bring in, dude. And finishes the evening's action. And your final score, 5 2. For Chris Singleton. I got a comment in third because that's where uh, that's where Kyle Seeger's going. Not sure if I want Leclerc or if I want Kelly Jansen. Thank you. 